what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be talking about how i would have jeepers creepers 4 open as many of you know uh as of right now there's nothing going on with jeepers creepers 4 uh for all intents and purposes victor salva has no plans currently to continue the franchise hopefully that turns around in the future uh i don't know how or when or if that's even going to be a thing victor has every right to keep a hold of this property if he chooses to and this is his this is his creation after all uh, I just wish he would try to figure out a way to uh, give up the rights to somebody. But I understand that if he gives up the rights, he's going to be losing out on some royalties because it's no longer going to be his property. So there's all, 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 there's all these tiny little things that I know Victor Salvo probably relies on. And he loves getting from Jeepers Creepers and he doesn't probably want to give any of that up, which is his his own very right. Uh, he's entitled to keep this property for as long as he pleases. But uh, I just wish something could happen where we he could collaborate with somebody to get a project going or get something going with this fourth film that is basically just going to be a script just sitting on a shelf just like how this cathedral script was that we ultimately never got but if jeepers creepers 4 were to happen i'd have jeepers creepers 4 open up with a uh, survivor from jeepers creepers 2 being like an opening kill so what i would do is i would put this in I would I would have the the very beginning of the movie start off saying day two uh, 2024 I believe that's when Jeepers Creepers 4 would be set either 2003 or 2024 one of those years uh, I'd have the the movie start off with uh, moonlit sky uh, it's dark it's foggy very terrifying very uh, horror-esque something that we all love to see in horror movies a terrifying opening setting the mood properly uh, it could say day we have our opening titles and then after we hear after we see the title Jeepers Creepers 4 we then jump into everything and it says day two uh, and then it has a time eight let's say it's 8 p.m. at night and we go into a house uh, this is again in the Poho County area in not Poho County but along that highway so we're going to be back in Bannon County Bannon County we know was where the basketball team from Jeepers Creepers 2 were from so we're going to be in Bannon County uh, this is this is after the creeper has escaped Taggart's barn. We're not going to jump right into that. We're going to just jump ahead a bit and then we're going to jump back to that. Uh, we're going to be in Bannon County. It's going to be eight o'clock at night, day two of the creeper's new feeding cycle. And we're going to be in a we're going to be zooming into a house. Uh, this is going to be the house of a survivor from Jeepers Creepers 2. And I want that survivor to be uh, Minxie. Minxie from the bus who uh, who has been. She, because I believe the creeper did pick Minxie. I believe the creeper picked out Minxie amongst all those people. Uh, I may be mistaken, but uh, let's say that Minxie is the person who is in this opening, and she is going to be getting a little visit from the creeper. She is going to be start. She's going to start to hear things. Uh, basically, it's kind of an opening, sort of like how Scream has its opening kill, but this is going to be Jeepers Creepers version. Uh, Minxie's gonna be hearing things. She goes outside and she starts seeing like corp she starts seeing like throwing stars uh, in her tires. Her tires have been her tires have been blown out. Uh, obviously the creeper she she recognizes these throwing stars as the as the weaponry of the creeper. A entity she has not seen for the past 23 years, because that's how long it's been since the creeper last attacked that bus. And he's been in hiding ever since or been in uh, hibernation, whatever the hell he does. Uh, and then after that, uh, Minxie goes back into her house. And I would just like to see something very menacing go down where uh, the creeper and Minxie have like a stare down. Uh, ultimately, what this is going to lead to, of course, is Minxie dying. She's going to be the opening kill. Bloodshed's going to be everywhere. She's going to be the opening kill and uh we i did i just like that continuity i like that continuity of the creeper uh even even when he is in a new feeding cycle he still will have a taste and a desire to go after those that he wanted last time and he's going to track them down track them down based off of their sense so like for instance if Derek trisha had actually ended up uh, surviving because the creeper cycle it ran out then 23 years later he's just going to come right back he's just going to come right right back after them. i think that would be a nice little piece of continuity to have from the creeper uh he doesn't just start a new cycle and then just start fate going after new people he goes after new people as well as people he wanted in the past um and I, i'd like to see that as like an opening kill for a fourth film he can go after minxie he can go after double d 
Uh, he can go after who else did he want? I believe he wanted. Uh, I don't believe he wanted Ronda, but he could go after either Double D or Minxie. I'd like to see. Most likely, I want it to be Minxie in our opening kill, um, and we could just have just something different for a Jeepers Creepers film to start off like that, in a way that is going to be setting the stage for a very emotional finale because we know jeepers creepers 4 is going to be the planned finale for all intents and purposes what we know jeepers creepers 4 is going to be ending the series if it if it is ever going to see the light of day i hope that it does that's what i would like to see happening i would like an opening kill in the vein of scream uh but of course it's going to be much more gruesome much more demonic in nature much more unsettling because this is jeepers creepers uh I, I, that's what I would like to see in the opening of Jeepers Creepers 4. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me, though, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. And then down in the comment section below, uh, I have links to the Facebook group. Go ahead and join that Facebook group so you can stay up to date on anything Jeepers Creepers related and just to, just to, to discuss horror content. I will see you guys in the next video.